Hi guys, welcome back to Ted Green Viraza. My name is Blessing Sunday and I'm your host for today. Today with me I have a very special guest. I call him my boss. He's a, an agri guru, a digital marketer in agri. Um, he's nobody but Mr. Mubarak Yahaya. Oh, well, Mr. Mubarak Yahaya, you're welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Um, you. How are you? How have you been? I've been good. I'm fine. And how are you? Very fine, thank you. Yeah, How's life yes. been in general? Life is normal. Life is Nigeria. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if you've heard, but there's been a lot of rumors about um, billions of Nairas being invested in agri. Um, I would love to know how that is going, if it's true or not, because since it involves millions, I'm interested. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> anyone would be interested in um, anything that attracts money. Yeah, that's true. You understand? So, agriculture has always been um, lucrative. Okay. You know, before the oil boom, before Nigeria discovered oil, we, agriculture was our mainstay of the Nigerian economy. Mm -hmm. So, it was our source of export, our source of income generally. So, I think. What really makes agriculture more lucrative now, where you are hearing that um, there are billions of investment coming in, both from local and foreign investors, it's because of the impact and the influence of technology in agriculture now, okay. which has given rise to agri-tech as a word, you know, the integration of agriculture and technology. So, and because um, Nigeria, I'm sorry to say, but it's a fact, is developing, or in some cases, you can see it's underdeveloped. Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And we have a teeming population. Yeah. And you know, when population increases, there's definitely going to be um, high demand of food, yeah, even to fish. feed people. So that means agriculture is becoming more important. So that means we need to double up, or probably triple our food production. Yeah. And you know what technology does these days? It enhances everything. It simplifies, it, it streamlines processes. It makes things easier. So definitely, it makes agriculture easy. And because of the potential in agriculture, because of how the creativity in Nigerian, agri um, Nigerian agriculture is, that is why you see money coming in. People are interested because they know there will be profit. You know, when you sell food, you get money because people want to eat. Okay. You understand? So that's why money is coming in from local and foreign investors. So the rumors you heard are correct. So you mentioned um, something about the population becoming high mm. and uh, demand for food too increasing. Yeah. And so I want to understand: is it that is the rich, the, the the rich people that are going into farming more to make sure that the food goes round, or is it the poor people that are making sure that the food goes round? Because I'm from the north, okay. and I see people going to the farm. Mostly, almost all the time. So I want to yeah. understand: is it that it's from the uh, the low class people or the and high, high class people? people. Yeah. Um, well, agriculture in Nigeria is practiced by all, okay. both high, low, and middle. Okay. You get, but statistically, yeah. over seventy percent of the food we eat, you and I eat, they are from the smallholder farmers. Okay. That's the small farmers, yeah. and those farmers, by statistics, also. They have an average of one to three hectares. Mm. You understand? So they are the ones that feed Nigeria, the smallholder farmers. And you know, when you say smallholder farmers, they are characterized by poor income, sometimes low education. I don't want to say illiteracy because it's relative. Let's say low education, you know, poor access to finance and predominantly traditional practices. Mm. But we do have the rich guys going to agriculture. But from what I've seen, what I've observed, the majority of them, they export. Okay. Exports yes. from Nigeria, outside? Nigeria outside, okay. you understand? Because of the, of course, the business aspect is more lucrative and all. So yeah, we have um, the rich and the poor going to agriculture. But then it's well known that the um, majority of these farmers are older people. Mm. They're older people, and that's because Farming is not appealing to the Gen Z, the younger that generation, yeah, because agriculture, as they say, is a dirty man's job. You know, the average youth prefers to sit in an office with his tie, the AC on, and on his computer. For us? Because I don't agree with you. <laughs> the youth still want money. Yeah, they want money, but how many of them want to get their hands dirty? 
dirty in a good way. I know a lot of them. Yeah, well, you can take statistics and out of let's say ten you'd find out how many. I think that would prefer same, because now people are, are are hungry. There's a need to get more comfortable. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so that's, that's because hungry. that's because there are no jobs. If we had jobs in Nigeria, if you had the option of sitting in an office and earning five hundred thousand naira or going to the farm, digging, you know, weeding. That is what I'm saying. Since there are no jobs, yes. the youth now are willing to get their hands dirty. They are forcefully, yes, they are forcefully Yes, that's they are forcefully willing to do that. That's because there are no jobs. But what, what I'm trying to say is the ID situation, the current situation yeah. is that we have more of the aged people in agriculture. But then where the youths are coming in now, it's the uh, in the use of technology in okay. agriculture. Okay. You get because the youths are more tech savvy. Mm -hmm. They know computer stuff. You know they know all these tech things, and they are they are um, they are open to adopting technologies. Yeah, I like that. You understand? <laughs> so it is in agri tech, like I said before, mm -hmm. the combination of agriculture and technology. and technology. That is where the youths majorly play a part mm -hmm. to leverage technological solutions. You know, to solve problems in agriculture. No doubt, no, they are still saying we don't want to get our hands dirty. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> many <laughs> you don't want to get their hands dirty. It's maybe you want to, or maybe there's a farm somewhere you can go. I yeah, so. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's the case. Okay. Yeah. You've been saying a lot about um, Gen Zs, and I'm beginning to think you have something against us. <laughs> it's possible. Really? Well, uh, let's leave yes. it personal. And but nevertheless, we actually need your help since you think we are lazy. Because that's why you're trying to do When did I say you are lazy? You did. Indirectly. <laughs> okay. Maybe you've forgotten. I've forgotten. Uh, okay. So we need your help. Uh, what do you think uh, are the career paths for us Gen Z's in agriculture? What do you think like? Career paths for Gen Z's in yeah. agriculture? Yes. Um, well, you know, since we have a lot of problems in agriculture, like we said, if you are a programmer, if you are um, an AI expert, mm. an engineer, mm. because this morning when I was scrolling my LinkedIn feed, mm. I saw somebody, I forgot his name, so what he does is he, he, he designs a solar, solar system you know, that helps farmers to irrigate. Okay. You know, normally irrigation is done with fuel. Yeah. Mm. I had a farm last year where I did irrigation and it went bad because he spent a lot of money on fuel. So what he did was to harness the sun, you know how solar works. Yeah. So instead of fuel, instead of buying fuel to pump water from whatever the water source is, you use solar energy. Mm -hmm. So that's an engineer. He leverages his, his expertise. Okay. There's another guy, this company is called Kokonoto. I think in 2021 or so, he was a final year student. So he did his um, undergraduate project on a machine that deshells coconut, that removes the coconut shell and then turns the, the, the shell, that back, mm. into what we call a cocoa pit. Cocoa pit is used for raising nurseries. Did you say coconut? Yes, coconut. Okay. So instead of using cutlass, the manual, yeah, so yeah. that is machine, just helps you in split second minutes to mm. shell the coconut, yeah. and then uses the shell, the back to, like I said, cocoa pit, and he sells them. Currently, I think we import cocoa pit into the country. Mm. Maybe they are local producers and there. So Dean is another expert using his knowledge to, you know, to solve the problem in agriculture. Does that mean if I want to go into agri now, I'll have to have like a, a background knowledge about everything? Can't I just go into it since I'm already in tech? Um, you can actually. <laughs> now this is a tricky one. Okay. You can. You know, maybe you have one knowledge about an aspect of tech, let's say data or whatever. Mm -hmm. You can come into agriculture, but then you need to understand the industry. Okay. You need to understand where the problems are. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have to you know, get somebody that has background. You can come, come to me if you want. To that means I can learn it in the system. I don't have to like, go back, maybe go to a school or something. No, no, no. There's no, 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 no. Knowledge is there. People are there. But I have a bias against people that don't, that don't have in agriculture coming to use their tech skills from somewhere. It's like you coming to overtake our people. You understand? So I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I always prefer, you know, people, let's say students um, that have background in agriculture, okay. going to learn a couple of tech skills 
And then coming back to the industry, because they already, they already understand the nuances and peculiarities in agriculture. Okay. So then it's like, it's seamless, it's easy. They know what's wrong, they know what should be what and when that should be. Okay. So, so well, if that are in agri, yes, more advantage. Exactly, and I prefer it that way, because it makes it exactly. easy. But when people like you, that are not in agriculture, mm. come into our industry mm. with your knowledge, mm. <laughs> you stress us. Really? Yes, because we have to start teaching you. But this, this is not just, I'm, I'm not just saying it. There is a, there's a problem we have in um, maize processing. You know this engine there is in grinding maize and yeah. all these things you get. So if I tell you that you, there's a specific measurement you have to have correctly for the design, the whole engineering design, to actually process this maize very well, would you believe? Would you believe? Mm -hmm. But we have, you won't believe, so I'm telling you. So, but we have these local, what do they call them, zinc welders or vulcanizers yeah. doing their thing because they know how to bend one or two iron, you get. So then it causes a problem, it causes post-harvest loss. But when we have somebody who understands maize, the whole geometry of maize, the content of maize and what should be and what not, and then he understands, he learns fabrication, machine fabrication, he can then easily combine these two knowledge and bring a solution. So indirectly, you that don't have the knowledge, you are coming with a solution, but you are causing some other problems. But me with the, um, the knowledge, I can easily just make everything seamless. So this is not to say there is no room for non-agriculturalists. There are. But then, I will people first. Mm. Okay. Yeah. You have to say so. Sorry for hurting your feelings, but that's just how it is. Don't worry, I'm good. <laughs> okay. I'm good, trust me. Okay. Yeah. So thank you very much, Mr. Mubarak Yahya. It's Thank been you. wonderful having you here. Thank I'm so sure much. I learned a lot and I'm sure the, users, the audience too learned a lot. Hopefully you. Uh, uh, one more thing, well, since you are a Gen Z and you like to get your hands dirty, I think there are some farms so I can take you. You can actually get your hands dirty. I'll actually think about that. <laughs> as long no as you need to get me a lot of money. Oh, millions of naira. Uh, we'll see. I don't mind. Your impious, the billions of what? Billions of naira. That's the problem with Gen Z. Uh -uh. This is Gen Z. <laughs> <laughs> It, it, it doesn't work like that. How does it work? It, it brings money, but there's a process. I know there's a process, but you, then we'll get there eventually. You don't know. Okay, no problem. We'll get there eventually. No, Allah. No, Allah. So, <laughs> but before we go, we're going to play a late song. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, no, I can say why. It's on the agri. Okay, so no, I'm going Allah. to be asking you the name of meats we get from different animals. Mm. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, let's start with um, cow. Cow. Mm -hmm. You know the meat from cow. Yes. Beef. Um, goat. <laughs> okay. In English or Igbo, or, or I know Ishio <laughs> is a from my state. <laughs> what do you say? How do you say? I don't know. I don't know that language. You don't know <laughs> English, please. I don't know. Goats, you don't know. Nah, nah. You're yeah, very sure you don't know. Mm -mm. Okay, mm -mm. so the meat gotten from goats is chevron. Chevron. Yes. Okay. Chevron. C H E V O N. C H E V O. Okay, okay. chevron. Yeah. Okay, I tell you that company, chevron. Okay. So it's chevron. Company. Company. Okay. That's the name. <laughs> no, what I about like. turkey? Turkey is Turkey. Throw yes. How did you get that? Don't worry, it's my field. Okay, what of <laughs> yeah. 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 Very so. Hmm? Very, very. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard. Very so. <laughs> <laughs> ah, don't bless them. This is venison. Very, venison. Ven yes, ah, okay. venison. <laughs> Venison. Okay, I tried. Now I got the vet. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much, Mr. Obaya, for bracing us with your presence. You're welcome. It's been wonderful having you here. I hope to see you soon some other time. Hopefully. And yeah. thank you very much for viewing. Um, catch us on another episode of Tech Green by Raza. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> Bye.